Hello, people of God. It's Pastor Stephen in my office at St. Paul's United Church of Christ in Amityville. I'm recording this Wednesday night, but this is of this is vlog number 196 for posting on Thursday, September 16. And I'm recording this just after having been a part of an invigorating spiritual council meeting. And present and past elders of the church comprise the spiritual council. And we have a few things that we always have on our agenda that we work with and overseeing the spiritual life of the congregation and checking in on people that are not as active and making sure that there are provisions for development and growth of people and of um, following up with caring for people, giving care to people that, uh, especially that are shut in or that need help. And so there are a number of things we always cover in those meetings. Um, but also tonight, I asked for the elders to share what things in the church they're passionate about. And I really got some good and a variety of answers, good answers and a variety of answers. And the first one, um, someone shared, a couple of people shared about the outreach in our church that they're excited about. And that includes something, there was another meeting going on tonight for planning a free community meal that will be given out next Wednesday on the 22nd, first come, first serve. We're just making a bunch of meals. I think it's gonna be pork roll, I'm not sure and uh, they'll just be out handing out the, the, the meals to anyone that comes by, church members or non-church members, it doesn't matter. They just want to be connected with people. And um, another person shared their recognition that the FLMC Family Life Mission Center really is becoming a hub of the community, including uh, Girl Scouts had CPR uh, training and first aid training tonight in the um, down in the gym. And uh, another person shared how excited they are about Emily being on board and new developments with our youth ministry and youth group. And another person talked about missions and Hope Rescue and Hope Rescue Mission specifically, but many missions that our congregation is involved with. And it's true, we really do have a lot going on, including we will have Ned Farnsworth coming to speak about his mission work in Ecuador. He'll be coming in November. You'll be hearing more about that. I think it's the 14th, the second Sunday of the month. And uh, talked a little bit about Scouts and about um, a love of country, um, and uh, someone talked about how this has really been a time for creativity to respond in a, in a season of COVID and to figure out how to do things and connect with people. It certainly has, hasn't it? And there was also someone sharing a concern for developing spiritually, and, and we talked about maybe having some specific things we can do during the season of Lent or maybe before Lent that will help people connect with um, their spirituality. And I have a passion too for this book right here. This is the Bible and specifically it's a Bible called the Life Application Bible. And we just handed out about a dozen of them to new students that are in our confirmation and our new pre-confirmation class. Had a great meeting with the parents and students that could make it and we're starting up new programs and they're going to get a crash course in how to use the life application bible this sunday and marlene Dady is going to lead that i'm real excited that she's getting back into physically or one-on-one uh, -on -one, or not one-on-one -on -one, but uh, into actual teaching she does so much administration and work with the curriculum for other teachers but she'll be one of the teachers this year and also, I know that our children in Sunday school this Sunday are going to be learning about creation. Where can you read about creation? Well, you should know at least Genesis 1 and 2, but there's some other places where you can read about God's creation and how out of nothing, God created just amazing things. And uh, I hear voices coming. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna step out of here because I know there's some training going on with our new person. 
Um, yes, this, um, I'm doing a vlog right now. Jackson, you can just wave and say hi. Hello. This is, this is Jackson's first night. He's being trained on the job to be our night watchman at the church. So we're glad you're on board and we'll, oh, we won't bother you anymore. So I have a good training. Okay. Thanks for having me. You're very welcome. All right. Um, isn't that interesting? So now you have a face to the person that's going to be checking up and, and locking up um, at night. Uh, where was I? Oh, the Bible. So the kids are going to be learning about that. We have three adult classes and um, um, so many opportunities to learn and grow in God's Word. And there is a, a Connect class for, for um High school students that have finished confirmation, that's going on after church on Sundays, like the, or after worship, uh, the same time as pre-confirmation and confirmation. And we have a women's Bible study group that was meeting last year, and they've been on hiatus for the summer. They're coming back this Tuesday, and they're continuing where they left off. They've went a year studying Revelation, and guess where they're picking up? chapter six. So they do a lot of kind of looking at the details of uh, the scriptures. And um, if you want to quickly breeze through on your own, the first five chapters of Revelation, and then um, jump in and join them, I'm sure they'll be studying that for quite a while. By the way, uh, Carrie Coon has some funds that he's made available so that you can buy one of these life application study Bibles. So this is a Bible I discovered about um, 20 years ago serving another church and developing a confirmation program. I wanted the kids, the students to have the best um, study Bible available to help them apply the Bible to their lives. Now there might be some that are more um, academic, but this is really to help people to understand the Bible and then to apply it to their life. So a lot of scholars worked on this to put footnotes in there, to have uh, the maps. And sometimes people wonder, why do you need to have so many maps? Isn't it the same place all the time? Well, uh, yeah, I can't really hold on to this and show you that too much. Well, if you were to take a, uh, show a map of um, Amity from 20 years ago, you wouldn't see the middle school. And that's an important part of what's going on now. And in the same way, the Bible covers about a thousand years and things keep on changing during that. So there are different political borders or different things, things going on. There are different, different reasons to show the Bible, like where people lived and sometimes to show Jerusalem and uh, where the walls were and where things were there. And sometimes there are uh, maps to show different um, trips that people took for, from one place to another for different reasons. So anyway, this study Bible has all sorts of accessories to help you understand the Bible better that were put together by some really good scholars. So I recommend it. And Kerry Kuhn has some money that he will um, use to help. If, if you need help purchasing one of these, um, you can contact Marlene Dady or talk to her on a Sunday or call her up during the week. And we, we buy extras of this because we know it's a great Bible and we want to have it available for people. Let's see. Here's our scripture for today. From 2 Timothy 3, 16 to 17. All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, that the person of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. So Paul understood the importance of God's word being at our disposal, understanding it, knowing it, and be able to use it so that we can do everything good that we need to do. Let us pray. Lord God, we thank you for the, all the things that are starting up now, the pre-confirmation class, confirmation class, connect class, three different adult classes, the women's Bible study group, Sunday school for pre-K through six, all sorts of things going on, and we pray that people will grow in grace and knowledge of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Uh, one of our um, elders mentioned that verse tonight about growing in grace and knowledge of Jesus Christ. We pray that as a congregation, we may keep growing in your grace, 
keep growing in your knowledge. And we pray for that in Jesus' name. Amen. And um, since this vlog has mostly been about the Bible, how about we finish with a quick song? The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. Over and out.